Hey guys, I hope that you're having a blessed and wonderful day. I want to release a word that the Lord gave me at 12.43 a.m. this morning on February the 16th, 2022. I had to email it to myself because I actually used my phone this morning whenever he gave it to me and then sent me on a journey with all kinds of scriptures. But this is what I want to release. This is what he said, and I'm just going to read it off. The separation has taken place, says the Lord. I have marked with an erasable mark who is mine. They will not be blotted out from my right hand. Though their sins were scarlet, with my blood they have been washed as snow. Continue to wash yourselves in the blood, to allow yourselves to be purified by the fire. For this is to cleanse you, to make you ready. This is not to harm you. This is to complete the finality of our soon celebration to take place. I'm coming quickly, my sheep. Woe to those who have scattered my sheep. Woe to those who refuse to listen and refuse to see. Now it is time. Now it is time for the separation has taken place. I know who is mine. They call me by name as I call them unto me. They have made themselves ready by the washing of blood. They have known that my blood protects, my blood heals, my blood speaks a better word. My blood is the only thing worthy. I am is my great name. Others will know that name and tremble at my feet, says the Lord. Those who have laid in want will want no more. Those hungry will hunger no more. Those lost are returning once more. Do not hide your face from me any longer. I know where the fault lies from the great deception over this world. Arise, my bride. Hold on a little longer. Tell the world of my great name. Though you will be hated as I am hated, you will be rejected as I am rejected, but take heed. I will deliver you from the devil's snare. You are mine and I am yours. Look up. The time has drawn near. I'm close. Closer than you think, my dear ones. Don't lose hope. Hold fast onto my chest as you abide in me, I abide in you. My arms are wrapped tightly around my beloved and nothing shall harm thee. Bask in my goodness and mercy and grace, I am is with thee. Do not fret the storms, the wind and the waves still obey me. My plans have not changed. Judgment awaits those not ready. I task you with this, warn them, warn them. My love runs deep. My anger burns from within me. I long to meet you face to face. Tell them of my love for them, even when they do not listen. I know what that feels like. But do as I ask and great will be your reward in heaven. I have prepared a place for you. There is no more tears, no more pain. It will be grand what you will see and do. My plans for you are great and beyond time and measure, a measure beyond your comprehension. Lovely you are to me, my children. Great is thy faithfulness. Just wait and see what I have prepared for you. The greenest pastures, the fields of lilies beyond compare of anything you have tasted or seen. I long to be with you, my loves. For where I am, you will also be in a moment. In a twinkling of an eye, before you know it, we will embrace for eternity. It will soon all be complete. You are not destined for the ruins that lie ahead, the ruinous heap of my wrath. You will be scooped up into my arms once and for all. Nothing can separate you from my love. And I turn everything to good for those that love me. Hold on just a little longer. It will all happen suddenly. Watch, my promises are true. Guys, this is what he gave me at 12.43 a.m. this morning. 12.43 a.m. or 12.43 in the Strong's Concordance is division and a seeking. So guys, I believe that the division, you know, the, the separation has taken place. And I believe that we are to seek him with everything that we have in us, especially as everything is ramping up and amping up. Um, but he said several times in this to hold on a little bit longer. We're going to keep looking up, guys. Titus 2.13, 2, our blessed hope. 
We are watching and waiting because Jesus is coming. I love you guys. I hope that you are blessed. And um, if you don't know the Lord, I pray that you come to know him. Come to know Jesus. Call on the name of the Lord to be saved. It is only in Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life that you are to have salvation. And it is a free gift. A free gift, not by works, should anybody boast. Um, it's not anything to do with us. We do the works because we are saved, not to receive salvation. I love you guys. Don't forget, it's time to repent. It's time to turn from evil ways. It's time to wake up because judgment is coming, but also Jesus is coming. Look up, guys. He's coming soon.